Hey everyone, it's Rodev, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this Toolshop GUI without any scripting at all, so let's get right into it. As you can see, I can buy tools and it's going to say success, but if I don't have enough money, it's going to tell me that I uh, don't have enough money. Obviously, I have a bunch of money right now, so I'm not going to see that message for a bit, but I'm going to show you, uh, show you guys exactly how to make this in your game. So, to get started, go ahead and join my Discord server using the link in, in the uh, description below, and once you're in my Discord server, go over to the Video Models channel, and once you're in the Video Models channel, what you can do is go ahead and find this tool shop and what you can do is click on that link it's gonna bring you over here and once you're on uh, this page right here what you want to do is go ahead and click the get button right here and once you click on the get button what you want to do is go ahead and go back to Roblox Studio and once you're in Roblox Studio what you can do is go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete everything so it looks like what it would look like for you guys so everything's gonna get deleted and once you have the model you want to go to your toolbox and then click on this button right here click it a few times it should go to my models and then once you have this model right here which you just got you want to click on it click ok and then go ahead and close off the toolbox then you might see a few things don't worry about that go ahead and open it up and you're gonna find all these models what you want to do is go ahead and drag the replicated storage one over to replicated storage go ahead, go ahead and ungroup it by right clicking and clicking on the ungroup button once you do that you want to do the same thing for the other two models so uh, same thing for service group service and same thing for starter UI and uh, once you're done all of that it might show up for starter UI but obviously you do want to ungroup it first and once you're done that everything is pretty much good to go if you don't want this frame to show up you want to click on the frame and, and uh, make it unchecked like the visible unchecked now it'll be working in your game but in a second here I'm going to show you guys exactly how to customize it to uh, fit for your game if you want to put things like custom tools and uh, that sort of stuff. So click on the shop button, you can either, you can either use uh, this button right here to open and close it or use the X. So yeah, basically a quick feature added. And right here are your tools and you also get cash. So when I click here it takes away 12 cash and it gives me the magic carpet. If I just keep spamming it, which by the way you can only buy one every 1.25 seconds, that's, uh, it's just the cooldown, just to make sure no one spams it or breaks the code. So as you can see, if I just keep spamming it, it's going to show me that I don't have enough money now. Even the sword. As you can see, it says not enough money. And that's for everything, it's going to say not enough money. And basically, it just gives you the tool, and as you can see, I can use it. And uh, now what I can do is go ahead and customize the tool shop. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and insert your tools. So uh, these are the three tools I have, and basically, once your tool is inside, you want to uh, open up your tool, click on the plus, and type in int, I-N-T, and you want to create an int value. Now I already have mine here, so I'm going to delete it, but basically you want to rename your int value. Right here in the properties window, you want to rename it to price. And uh, if you don't see these, make sure you turn them on through the view tab. And once you rename it to price, you can go ahead and set the price value. Uh, for example, if I set it to 7, when I play the game, you're going to see it's uh, 7. So I'm going to show you guys that real quick. As you, as you can see, uh, when I load in, it's set to 7 now because I changed the price. And once you're done that, this uh, remote function will just be there. Don't uh, touch it, don't rename it. And then you're going to find this shop server script, go ahead and open it up. Right here you can name uh, your stat, so it can either be a cash, it can be like money, and you can like set a different starting uh, starting value. So if I set it to like money and 70, when I join the game it's going to be money and 70. As you guys can see it says money and it says 70, and I can buy stuff with my money. So that's basically how you create um, the money and you can change uh, the starting value. And the next thing we want to do is customize the UI, pretty much the most important part. So click on the frame, enable the visible property, and then ignore these empty boxes. That's where the price is set by the script. And in uh, in this button right here, this is basically just your shop opening script. You can change the color of it right there if you'd like. And right here is your frame. So basically this frame it contains uh, your tools. Now one really important thing is to make sure these frames inside are the exact same name as the tool. So classic sword and classic sword, they must be the exact same. I can't like have this one spaced classic sword, it's not going to work, it needs to be exact same. Remember you also cannot have like this one with a lowercase s and the other one with a capital S. It needs to be the literal exact same, just so that it lines up and when you click buy on this frame, it gives you this tool. And I'm going to show you guys inside. This is the button right here for the buy, and this is the image. So if you want to change the image, all you have to do is click on the image, go to the image property, click on add image, and you can upload an image from your computer and basically just have it displayed right there. And other than that, uh, that's pretty much everything you need to change. Inside the button, let me take a look. Uh, you can change the not enough money message if you'd like. You can change, uh, please do not change the numbers actually, it's, that might break the script. But yeah, it's basically what you can change inside the script. Uh, just change the not enough money message, the colors, things like that, and obviously the tools. So that's how you customize the shop GUI. And once you have it all customized, what you can do is go ahead and hit play. 
and everything is going to be completely done and ready for you. Once you join the game, the UI might be visible for this, what you have to do is actually disable the frame, so go to strategy UI, go to frame and make sure the visible is unchecked, then when you join it won't be visible when you join. So as you can see when I'm in the game, I can open it up and I can buy stuff with my money. As you can see the 1.25 second delay is there, and as you can see I can keep buying if I want this, if I want this I can buy it. And if I don't have enough money, it's going to tell me I don't have enough money. As you can see, it says not enough money. And basically, you can customize the message. So that's how you create a shop GUI in Roblox without any scripting at all. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this video. If it did help you, please be sure to join the Discord. Uh, but yeah, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if this did work for you. Hey guys, I'm editing the video right now. And the video that you see on screen right now is one that YouTube thinks you're really going to enjoy. And if you don't like it, you can always go ahead and leave. But what if you do like it? You know, you'll never know. Make sure you go ahead and check it out. But that's going to be it from me guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace